You know what people like more than positivity? You know what people like more than giving something the praise it deserves? Tearing it down, oh, taking it down it a feels peg. So good. You know, you know, people love a hero, but they love to watch a hero fail, fall, die trying. Oh, good. Yes. It's and that's true. why we're gonna look today at the worst character designs in the Batman Arkham series. Can I just say, real quick, I don't think any of these are horrible. No. It's just they're the least good. I think that would be the way to put it. And there's a few we genuinely don't like. Sure, sure. There, I think overall, we had a hard time putting this list together. Out of, yeah. like, a lot of the lists that we've done, this was one of the harder ones to find things that we just did not like. Or really, like you said, we're like, well, this is like the worst of the best, I guess. So The first one was easy, though, for me. No brainer. And yeah. that was Gordon from Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. He looks bad. It's he, not great. He's supposed to look like he does in the animated series, I think, but he comes off looking really lifeless, and he doesn't look like he would be capable of doing the job. In fact, he barely looks like he's capable of standing. He, I don't think it's just the <laughs> graphics either. He just looks... I mean, he's supposed to be, what, 50? Yeah. He looks yeah. like he's 90. He looks like... So, he doesn't really look like he fits into the world. You know no. what I mean? Like, he's he's so cartoony. And everyone else is obviously a little cartoony. But like, well, especially this, in Asylum. Yes. But that was like... He was extra cartoony. It just didn't really fit in the world. And, I mean, his voice actor was great. That's not the thing. It's the character design oh, itself. Yeah. The person and behind it's really good. It was great. Yeah, yeah. And but, the writing was, too. For sure. But he looked weird. Like, yeah. just like the shape of his face was like... It almost seemed too small, his face And did. circular. Yeah, very circular. Uh, I don't know. It just didn't look good, I guess. No, I yeah. agree. And that's that's the weird thing about talking about these, too, is we try to back them up, but when it comes to character design, a lot of this is going to be subjective art. Yes. So all we can do is try to explain why we feel the way we feel about it. For sure. It's not as much like game design, where you can really get into like the the ins and outs of objectivity. With or plot. We can look at yeah. the logic of a plot. Yeah. No, it's not nope, like that. Nope. This is like it looked bad. Yep. <laughs> the next one we have is Titan Joker. Now, maybe there's a little bit of influence by just the fact of how stupid it is, mm. but it also just looks pretty bad. It, it's the best looking Titan, maybe? Not really, though. Because, I mean, the only thing that makes it look good is that it is Joker. So yeah. you have like that idea. Oh, this Joker. So like automatically you think, Joker, cool. And are you seeing the best looking Titan in Asylum? Or yes, yes. Okay, okay, maybe. For sure. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know because I don't think it's fair to count the normal Titans, but they do look really dumb. Uh, yeah. But they at least are supposed to look dumb. Like right. Joker's supposed to be menacing and really cool. And instead, it's just the Joker head. It's the same head stretched out a little bit. With a mohawk? With a mohawk, which where'd that come from? Yeah. And a huge body. Yes. Yeah, and he had giant fingers too, which did they have like, I mean, his were like extra long fingers, if you remember. Yeah. And the the normal Titan guys just had big hands, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, their so fingers were not that long. It was extra long fingers, which were weird. And I don't know, like it just, it didn't look right. And obviously we know Joker is like the skinny, kind of funny, maniacal guy. The, this character design was just odd to look at. And it didn't help that it was just, it just wasn't his character. It's never really something that you see. Joker no, everything do, was so. off about it. Yeah, it from just, the design to just the plot, it just didn't fit. He kind of looks like a, a buff hag raven from Skyrim. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just, it doesn't fit. It yeah. doesn't fit at all. It didn't work well. No. The next one we have is actually Scarecrow. Oh, oh. my gosh, he made oh. the first list. You from Arkham Asylum. I I read a lot of comments that people were okay with this look. I get that. Make your own... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I get that other people like this. I, I'm not going to dispute that. But we think it looks a little silly. And let, let's just explain why. Well, and I'd like to say first, too, before you dive too deep. Yeah. This was one of those where it was the worst of the best. This yes. Isn't like it's the, not bad. a terrible one. No, no, no. It's just worst of the best, kind of. And okay. there's things bringing it down. Like, the fact that he is just shirtless for no reason yeah. is kind of weird. Mm -hmm. It didn't really seem like it fit the character of who Crane was that much, did it? It just no. seemed like out of left field. The noose is sort of odd and doesn't have anything to do with anything. No. He really just has on a gas mask that's just a little warp. Yeah, it's kind of a it. weird looking gas mask too, yeah. And, and the mask is the best part of the character design probably. I would him. agree, I would agree. Yeah, the, the noose, and I didn't mind the noose, but like, I don't know, like, it's weird to explain this. It just looked kind of like Gordon for me. 
Where it was almost a little too cartoonish. Yeah, it looked like it was pulled out of um, a Bruce Tim sketch. Yes. Like, yep. And it would fit in like an animated universe. For sure. Because yeah, yeah. to me, this does look a lot like a version, like a weird warped version of the new Batman Adventures Scarecrow. Because he had a news too, didn't he? I believe so. I think he but did. He, he sort of had the same sort of look. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, the offense I will give for this is we're not saying that these outfits don't make sense in plot, right? Because this would make sense as a hastily thrown together outfit if you were in Arkham Asylum and then you threw together a villain outfit. Makes sense from the logic of the world, doesn't make it look good. Mm -hmm. That's sort of where we're at with it. Agreed. In yeah. fact, he just kind of looks, he looks a little bit like Zaz with a mask. Yes. If you think about it. He really does. That's a, that's a great comparison. And that's obviously not to say he's got some great moments in the game. It's just yeah. looking at his, at his character design itself. It just, it especially, I think the problem is too, you're, when you compare it to how he looks in Night, oh, yeah. it's like, my gosh, what a difference. Well, that's the know? thing too, we're looking at the whole series. Yes. I mean, if it was just the five worst in Arkham Asylum, right. the list would probably be different. Gordon would still be on there. Oh, no, Brandon. The list would be different. <laughs> yeah. And I am glad, as a final note on this, that they did save what I think is the absolute best part of this suit, which the mask is one of them, but it, it totally changes. But the fingers, yep. like the needle stuff, yep. it's different in night but it's still the same general idea yes and i'm glad they kept that because that's the most menacing part is that he can jab someone when you like with hear, the fear talks you hear the clanking yeah. too you know what i mean like, it's just it's just kind of menacing and intimidating when yeah. he's doing it. it it was really really cool in night and so it's hard because you're comparing it a little yeah. bit but i i think that this belongs on the well, list and in story he was fantastic in asylum it's there. no it's no complaining about the character itself it's just like yeah. the design so yeah the next one we have, this is the one I think you're most adamantly against the look of. Yep. So I'd like to let you explain it first before I say anything about it. Sure, sure. It's Killer Croc from Arkham Knight and specifically from the Season of Infamy DLC. So this character, and you had mentioned that a lot of people like this design. I, I, I've seen some people say okay. like they really like it. I don't know how many. I personally don't like it at all. And reason being, and maybe it's a little bit of a comparison too, in the other ones you see him just jacked He's this kind of like Bane-like presence where he's just a monster who's going to brute force you. And he's still kind of like that in Night, but he's got this beer gut and he's kind of hunched over. He just looks like he's like falling off, I guess. You know what I mean? So I you're know saying you don't like fat people. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Can we explain that too, by the way? Because you and I talked about that. And the fact is that like the idea is cool. Yes. He's supposed to be becoming more animalistic over time. But if that's the case, what kind of crocodile at all looks like this? I mean, crocodiles get big, but they are jacked. And yes. that was part of the point of Killer Croc the whole time. So to take that away from him, it's not that, like, the face looks good. The like, face looks great. That stuff. stuff yeah. It's just like, he doesn't really seem animalistic as much as he sort of seems like a out of his prime croc. That's what it feels like. It feels like a non-athletic, you know, beyond 50 croc, where he's just kind yeah. of like... He's still Croc, but he's not anywhere near what he was. It feels you like know? it would fit into something like The Dark Knight Returns. Sure, yeah. And, and work there in the scope of the story. But in the scope of this story, it didn't fit. It was in, just weird. In design terms and in story terms for me, it just felt weird too. It did. But it did. It, yeah, I agree with you. I don't think it looks good compared to his other ones. And I think an underrated look for him too was he actually looked pretty decent in Origins. I liked how he looked in it's Origins a cool, lot. cool because yeah. he progresses from Origins to Asylum and then in... Uh, city, he looks almost the same as as Asylum. Pretty much the same. A little different. Yeah, yeah. And then in this, it's just a massive change. Yeah. And it didn't fit for us at it, all. It didn't work, I don't think, for us. No, no. The final one, is this the one I'm most against? Yes, it is. Oh, I really find it to be so stupid the way he looks. That's Bane from Arkham Asylum. I actually don't like this design. And um, would you say City as well? He kind of yes, looks the he city. looks the same in City. Yeah. But in some ways, he actually looks worse in City. But this <laughs> yeah. design originated in Asylum. Yeah. So I think it's fair to critique that one more. For sure. Because it's not just a comparison. Because like this is the worst looking Bane I can think of in anything. Mm. I'm sure there's something worse. I'm not saying there's not. Sure. But I'm saying right now, talking to you right here, this is the worst one I can think of. Because I think of other ones. I think of The Dark Knight Rises. Very different, but looks menacing. I think of Origins. Much more sort of to the actual Nightfall origins of Bane himself. Really fit that. 
And it's not just about the character fitting, it's about how it looks. Like, he just looks like a nothing. He looks like a big beefcake. That's it. I mean, it looks like The Rock, if The Rock got like a huge steroid injection to be three times as big as he is. And he had no personality, obviously, which didn't help, but that shined through in his look too. The only thing that looked good about him was the mask and it didn't look great. It looked okay. He just looks like a brainless dolt the entire time. He really does. Well, and, and, and even if like, the interesting thing is from Asylum, they pulled a lot from the animated series. He looks good in the animated series. Yeah. Bane looks cool. He's got like, it's all black. He's like still smart. He's talking, he's tactical. He's still Bane in the animated series. I don't know what happened from all of the pull from the animated series into the Arkham Asylum game and why he was so drastically different than every other character. Well, especially with Paul Dini on the writing team. Like, why Why would that happen? I don't, I, I don't yeah. get it. And it's, again, it's it's multiple things. Like, it's, it's the story, sure, but just how he looks, he doesn't look like Bane. He doesn't look like anything. He's so forgettable. It would have been really cool to see him because when you see him, he's like you know, getting pumped dry when you originally see him and then you set him free and you become yeah. Bane. It would have been cool to see him like you did in Origins where before he got fully jacked, he was just like this smart, menacing, kind of just, I guess, uh, boss, like mafia boss almost that is just tactically running things. And it would have been cool to see that side of him in City and uh, Asylum because we didn't see that. We just saw it in Origins. And that's, yeah. that's where he's at his best is in Origins in this series. So it would have been cool to see that in City and Asylum like you did in the animated series, I guess. Well, and ironically, no one liked, speaking of the characterization, no one really liked it that much, so they ended up not even putting him in Night. Makes sense. And I think it's partially for that reason, but I don't know that. Yeah. So, hey, these are our five worst character designs in the Batman Arkham series. We look forward to hearing what you think in the comments down below. What are your opinions of the worst? What are the best? Hey, thank you to everybody who entered the giveaway last time. I shouted out the winner of that on the community tab when we took care of that. Appreciate it a lot. We'll be doing more of those in the future. We hope you have a fantastic day. See you in the next one. I can't find it. Help. End it.